Yeah, finally, after two brilliant, rather emotional performances this morning, we finally get to chat to the man himself. We're joined by an unbelievably talented Vernon Barnard, who, of course, recently found comfort in telling stories through music, and I think he's given a huge amount of other people comfort as well. He stole the hearts of many when he took part in one of SA's biggest singing competitions back in 2016, and today he finally released his single, I Like It That Way, and it's been rocking the radio airwaves ever since. Welcome, Vernon. Vern. Thank you. Thank awesome. You, awesome Good to have to you here. Yeah, I'm going to apologize to everyone who's broken up with someone recently after that last <laughs> performance. That was, it was so emotional. Yeah. I can see the emotion moving through your body. Do, do you feel it when you sing like that? I do. I have to live myself, you know, into that moment. It's uh, putting yourself in someone else's shoes and just, even though I'm, I'm a happy man and I'm in a, in a great relationship, I have to imagine myself in that person's shoes, um, the one who's experiencing that emotion. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that you're not well. breaking up with someone right now. Nah. I know you've got quite a no, publicized good. Good. <laughs> relationship there as well. So um, I'm going to deal with this. And I, I was saying to you off air that you must be sick of people always kind of going to the fact that you are blind as the first point of contact. But you have an opportunity to inspire so many people. Talk us through your journey. I understand 16 eye operations before you sadly lost your sight. How do you feel about your own physical condition? Um... How do I feel about being blind? It's, um, in, in many ways it is restricting, but also you then have to re um, remember that people restrict you more than you can restrict yourself, for instance. Yeah. Like, um, I'm out there to show people that the most basic things in life that someone would say or not imagine me doing, I, I can do it and I can do it just as well or maybe even better. Better, I would say. So, <laughs> you know, it's, it's all about growing up with a condition and really having to mature early in life because I have to leave my house at the age of six to go to boarding school. Sure. And um, the operations, I had them. Unfortunately, they were um, unsuccessful. But, you know, I, I had 5% vision in my right eye from the age of six up till the age of 17. Then, then I lost that last bit of sight. So I still have good reference about how things look. And, you know, it, it was good to have it for a while. It's, it's better to have something than to have nothing. So, yeah, man, now it's just to, to live my life, um, to do what I can to, to make the world a better place. Um, and you certainly do that with your, your music. I mean, I've, I, there are very few artists that I've seen able to convey that much emotion through that. But I'm going to take a turn on the sporting front now, being a bit of a sports freak myself. <laughs> um, you, you had the opportunity to play for the South African blind cricket team. Is this something that, that is drawing you away from music in any way? How does sports slot into your life? Mm, not really. <laughs> the, um, the thing is, unfortunately, as a, a blind cricket player in South Africa, we don't get that much coverage yeah. for, for the sport. So we participated in India in 2012, uh, the first blind cricket 2020 World Cup. We did another one in Cape Town in 2014, but you know, it's still a far way away. So the best thing I can do is just at least promote it for the guys and say, okay, here we are, we are, we are sportsmen, we are legit. We do it, you know, we do what we do and we're proud of what we do and we're good at what we do. So I've taken a break from cricket just because I had to focus on my music You've and to, yeah. if I want to put bread on the table, I'm going to have to choose the <laughs> one that's... I'm passionate about both, but this is, this is a good way forward for me. Music. Um, well, and I think you've just begun to scratch the surface. We're getting a, a, a sense of your tone and your style. An album is starting to come together now. What can we expect from that? How are you putting together your playlist and your sound? Yeah, man, the thing is, music is so, so broad. Um, I want to cover to as many people as possible. Yeah. Um, that's why I'm going to do Afrikaans and English songs Correct. on this album. I'm going to do a few covers that I did on the show. I'm going to do originals as well. So, yeah, there's actually one coming out this Friday, a very exciting, upbeat really Afrikaans is. song, Dai Liki. People ask, but what's your name? No, it's actually it's Dai Liki. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, that's exciting. It's going to be available on iTunes and uh, what we call it, Google Play, all of that. Um, so yeah, man, it's just it's just exciting to, you know, form relationships with, I'm not going to say fans, but the supporters, and yeah. just give give something to them to also 
take through their lives, you know. Oh, well, well, still more inspiration coming away this morning. We've got one more performance um, with Vern. Thank you so much for opening up to us. It's been awesome, awesome. having you on set, cool, my thanks, friend. Guys. Such a me. gentleman. Um, you can let us know what you thought of Vernon's performances already. Um, and certainly that one to come a little bit later in the show. Hit us up on our Expresso Morning Show Facebook page.